What's going on guys? Gunner here. We're going fishing. <laughs> um, we're going to check out the new Chunky Dunker 2.0, which has, let's see if you guys can see this, this is hard to run, but it's got a uh, Mega Jerk dubbing brush core for back hook, front hook, wiggle tail. Um, look at them colors. We've got like white, pink, orange, yellow. we got uh, like pearl dye hue, or pearl green hue, uh, ripple ice in the back. we got gold ripple ice in the front. It's tied on a 26 degree A Arex uh, bent 3 out hook. So you got like a D&D head with big peck fins on it for big profile and the wiggle tail. And I'll be fishing an intermediate line because that, that 26 degree head, it'll pull it under, you can basically run it on a floating line and you thump it really hard and you get that tail to like, woo, you'll see, you'll see because I'll show you. So let's do this. That's a heavy fish, dude. This thing has my 10 weight doubled over. It's a nice bass, I think. This bass just ate a 12 inch streamer, dude. Oh, is it a pike? I don't know. Oh, it's a walleye. Check this out. Oh, dude. It's a trophy walleye. That is such a nice walleye! <laughs> Check out this walleye! Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. That out. That is at least 12 inches of fly by a big old walleye. How big that walleye is. This is, yeah dude, we're gonna let you go. Hey, don't hook yourself, buddy. Yeah, that's the release shot that you want. Man, the skeeters are bad. Something I wanna say real quick because that walleye might be, here, I'll switch sides. That walleye might be the only fish we get today. So I figured I'd talk about something real quick. So I'm fishing a Chunky Dunker, right? And this is the brushed version of the Chunky Dunker. It's, without the tail, it's maybe eight inches. With the tail, it's a full 12, easily a 12 inch fly, right? Now that was a big walleye. That was like a 24, two foot, 26 inch walleye. And something I think people freak out about, especially the trout guys, <clears throat> not, not pointing the finger or anything, but like a very common phrase is, fish predators will try to eat something that's half their size, right? So say a two foot trout would eat, theoretically, a 12 inch trout. And people freak out about that because trout are these very delicate, dry fly, sipping, beautiful creatures who are also predatory. <laughs> but, um, so the point I'm trying to make is, is if, if that kind of bothers you, that theology, what you have to understand is you're comparing two dimensions, you're, or one dimension actually, you're comparing length, right? You're saying two foot versus 12 inches, 24 versus 12. That's something that's half his size, but that's not true. It's half his length. If you think about how much a, a 12 inch trout weighs, it's maybe half a pound versus a two foot trout, maybe four pounds, three and a half, four pounds. That's eight times bigger. Eight times bigger. So when you're talking about something, ooh, you know, a, a brown trout would never eat a 12 inch trout, or a two, or a two foot walleye would eat a 12 inch sucker, or you know, a 40 inch pike might try to eat a 20 inch red horse, or a muskie would try to eat a red horse, right? You have to understand, it's volume. Fish are, they grow like, you know, you get a 12 inch bass that's maybe a pound. Sorry, the, the skeeters are ridiculous right now. That's maybe a pound. You catch a 20 inch bass. That's like six and a half pounds. That's a huge, that's six times as big. Obviously a 20 inch smallmouth might not try to eat a 12 inch smallmouth because smallmouth are really deep so they can't fit in their own mouths. Like they probably wouldn't eat each other. Maybe they're juveniles, but, um, or they're young, they're fry and stuff. But anyway, 
So that's the point I want to try to make. Like, don't freak out about fishing long flies because it's volume and that becomes a trigger. Bulk becomes a trigger. That's one of the reasons why musky flies are so bulky and that's one of the reasons why like a uh, 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 sculp daddy, right? It's only four inches long. It's not a big fly, but it's accurate. It's four inch and it matches a four inch sculpt in volume wise. It has this ginormous head and this tapered tail and that's that freaks people out, but it's it's accurate. That's the whole point and that accuracy is its own trigger because fish are looking for bulk because bulk is a meal. So don't freak out if you say, you know, a, tw a two foot trout eats a 12 inch trout because that happens because 12 inches is only an eighth of the size. So hopefully that gives you something to think about before we, either this will be at the end or the beginning, who knows where I put stuff, but it'll be in there. Check it out. So normally, <laughs> I would be standing on bare ground right now, and I'm easily knee deep. So this is like way, way high. Oh, oh, there's something on it. There he is. It's just a little tiny bass. Stay hooked, you dudes. Putting up a good fight. Come here, Smalley. Oh, don't hook me, dude. So we just talked about that's only like maybe a what 12 inch bass. Look at that. You see what I'm saying about fly size? That was like a 14 inch bass, maybe 12 inch bass. It's the same the same length as the skinny dipper, but or a chunky dunker, but different volumes. And he just freaking inhaled that thing. Oh yeah.